Good morning, boys and girls. All right, so we're going to go over some 3D shapes today, all right? Right before we went to spring break, we went over our 2D shapes. And um, a 3D shape looks just like those 3D shapes, except a 2D shape is flat. And 3D shapes, they're not flat. So if I pulled up my cube here, this is its 3D shape form. It's called a cube. Do you see my... My, my square here, is my square big and, and popped out like this cube? No. So this one is a cube. And the 2D shape form, this was called a square. So we're not working with 2D shapes now. So we're going to start calling the 3D shapes their 3D shape names. So instead of saying a square, you will call this a cube. A cube. Do you see that? This is a cube. All right. And this right here, it can roll in my hand. And you see how it's round here and round? This is called a cylinder. Can you say cylinder? Cylinder. Cylinder. This is a small, I have a smaller version of my cylinder here. This is a 3D shape, and it's called a cylinder. All right? And this one here, this one is called excuse me, a, a sphere. Can you say that word? Sphere? See him? It's all round like a ball. But we will not call him a circle. We will call him a sphere. Sphere. All right? And then I have a triangular prism. See, his flat version would be a triangle. Let me get me a triangle out. Nice and flat triangle. My triangular prism is not flat. Do you see that? So this is called a triangular prism. This is a, it's the shape of a rectangle, but it is called a rectangular prism. Rectangular prism. See, he's not flat. Do you see him? This is our rectangular prism. Make sure I went on the, yep, we went on the cube. Rectangular prism. Triangular prism. Oh, I know which one I gotta give you. Where is my oh, my comb? This kind of the shape. See the the shape of a triangle, but it's not. It has this nice flat surface down here, and he's called a cone. Can you say cone? Cone. All right. Okay. So I want you to get these worksheets out for me. One looks like this. And the other one looks like this. So I want you to pause me while you get those and go ahead and get your pencil ready as well so we can do this. All right. So some flat surfaces, they can roll, okay? This is my cone, but if I laid him on a flat surface, he'll roll. You see how he's almost about to fall out of my hand. This one right here, my cylinder, he rolls as well. Woo! And this is my sphere. My sphere definitely rolls, okay? But a couple of my rolling uh, figures, they have a flat surface. Do you see that? Which means they could stand up on their own like this. So when I look at my cylinder, I can stand it up, and I could probably put something on top of it, and it's not going to roll when it's standing on its flat surface. So it has two flat surfaces. Two. My cone here, my cone has one flat surface. Do you see that? We call these flat surfaces, all right? Now, on my cone, my cone only has one corner, and we call this corner here a vertex. When there's only one of them, we call it a vertex. Vertex, when it's just one. When I have something that has many corners on it, now I'm going to call them vertices. And so I don't want this to confuse you, all right? On my cone, it's just one vertex right there. One, just one. But on my cube, I have more than one vertex. So I will call them vertices. Vertices, see that? We're going to learn, and we're going to learn how to count all these in just a second. All right, so 
solid figures that roll like this and this and this, all right? Some of them do have a flat surface. The cylinder does. The cone does. Does my sphere here, does this have a flat surface? Let's look at it. Are there any flat surfaces on him? No. So the sphere has no flat surfaces and it has no vertices. Does it have any corners? It doesn't have any corners, right? What about my cone? Does my cone have a, a vertex? Does it have a corner? Yes, and it has one. What about my prism? I mean, my cylinder. Does my cylinder have any vertex or vertices? No, it doesn't. It just has a flat surface. There are no corners on here. Look at that. It's all round. There are no corners on it, all right? Okay, so now what we'll do is we're going to move on to my rectangular prism and my cube. All right, solid figures that do not roll because I could put down my rectangular prism and I can lay it flat and it does not roll. I could push it and it would, you know, by me pushing it, it's going to move, but it will not roll on its own. It is staying in its position nice and flat. The same with my cube. My cube does not roll, all right? It doesn't roll because it has vertices and it has multiple faces. So on my cube, instead of saying flat surface, I call them faces. This is a face. I'm going to turn it. This is a face. See that? This is a face. What do I call these right here? Do you remember? We call them vertices. See my corners? We call our corners vertices. When I look at my rectangular prism here, this is a face. I'm going to turn it slowly so you can see. This is a face. This is a face. And what do I call these right here? Do you remember? That's right. I call them vertices because there's more than one of them, right? Vertices. So on your paper here, it says, looking at this one, it says, label the sphere. A sphere has no flat surfaces. Is that right? Does my sphere have any flat surfaces? It does not. Label the cube. A cube, does a cube have a flat side? It does. And what did we say we called that flat side? A face. That's right, a face. So, it says here, which solid figure looks like a ball? And it gives you the answer on this one. It wants you to trace that word. What is that? Which one of these looks like a ball? That's right, the sphere. The sphere looks like a ball. So what it's going to have you do here is trace the word sphere. And then it says, can you name three other objects that are this shape? Yes, you can. So here, it has them up here. And it wants you to first, remember you had to label this one. So here you should write sphere. And here you should have wrote cube. Cube. All right. What other three figures here have a sphere kind of shape in them? They don't have to be a complete sphere. What other one of these three? Good. All right. Now, next one it says, which solid figure looks like, oh, excuse me, a can? Hmm. Which one of these looks like a can? Let me pull up some of mine here. Like a can. What do you think here? Do any of these look like a can? Hmm. I definitely see one on here that looks like a can. And if you can't think of what a can looks like, you can go get a can because you're at home from your kitchen and grab one and then be like, hmm, which? Oh, I see it. And I want you to write the name of that shape right here on your paper. And then it says, name three other objects that are this shape. Okay. So now it wants you to look again in here and see if you could find three other objects that might be this shape. 
And then it says, make a list of objects that are cones and draw pictures of them. Can you think of any kind of objects in your house that can kind of resemble a cone? A cone? Okay, and I want you to draw them on the back. Now we're going to talk about this one, right? this paper right here, okay? It says, write how many flat surfaces and vertices each solid figure has. Shows me a picture of a rectangular prism first. And that is this one, my rectangular prism. It says, how many flat surfaces does the rectangular figure have? So, when you look at it, don't think of it as a rectangle where you're just going to say, oh, it just has one, because this is a 3D shape. So, it has many. So, what I do is I put my fingers here. Now, I know you don't have this in front of you, but on the paper, you could look at it and count. It has one. Two, I'm going to turn it, three, four, five, six. So a rectangular prism has six flat surfaces because you have to count this one and you have to count this one right here. So a rectangular prism has six flat surfaces. How many vertices does it have? Well, let's look at it, okay? Let's count. One, two, three. Four. Does it only have four? No, I gotta turn them around and count these four. Five, six, seven, eight. So my rectangular prism has eight vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on my paper, I will trace that number eight. And it asks, how many edges? How many edges does it have? Okay, here we go. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It has twelve edges. So these flat right here, these are edges. See that? Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve edges. So that's good. that's the part about 3D shapes that I think is the most confusing is vertices and edges. So this is not a corner, right? It's not a corner. So it is not a vertice. This right here. This is called an edge. An edge. Right here, these flat parts that you can run your finger on, those are your edges. These are also edges, so we're going to add those in it right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So these are your edges. We have them all over. So on the rectangular prism, there are 12 of them. All right. And then it has a cone. It gives you the cone. This is your cone. And it says, how many flat surfaces are on the cone? Well, let's look at it. That's not flat, is it? No. How many flat surfaces are on the cone? That's right. Just one. One flat surface right there. And it says, how many vertices? Well, we know that this cone only has one vertex right here. When there's only one, we call it a vertex. So you, how many does it have? One, that's right. And then, how many edges? Does my cone have any edges on it? Any sides like that? No. It is, it is circular here. This has zero edges. So don't let that paper confuse you. There aren't any edges on this. There is one vertex, and there is one flat surface here. And it says, do solid figures always have flat surfaces or vertices? Hmm, do they? Well, I'll give you an example. What about him? Does he have a flat surface or a vertice? Hmm, I wonder. So that, oh, Lux, say hi. This is Lux coming in. Hey, Lux. 
All right, so that is the end of these two papers. So I'm going to pause the video because I'm at 15 minutes and it takes a long time to download it when I, when I talk too much. But you should be able to at least do these two figures, these two forms, and then I'm going to make a next, another video on the other two forms. And I miss you and I love you. Bye.